this, Josh? Ah! After picking through it, I find a long blonde hair just sitting in my food, and that's the absolute worst. This is not my hair. At that point, you're done. It's over. You lost your appetite. You don't want to eat it anymore. So look at this. This boardwalk has eight to 9,000 people a day walking by. Look at the tourists and the locals everywhere. Look at how beautiful it is. Gorgeous. There it is, Toucan's Oceanside Bar and Grill. Look at the asset that this is. It's on the corner, on the boardwalk. Look at the bar over there. It's a Latin concept. Feel the energy? Yeah, good energy. It's exciting. It's drawing people in. And look at this place. Dead, go for Completely dead. I'm not sure how I'm going to do recon with the bar empty. But actually, we're the target demo. Technically, we're tourists. Let's go in and do our own recon. Let's do it. Ready? Ready. Let's go. There's Jamie, he's one of the owners, and there's John, the other owner. That's Callie, she's a bartender. There's Tara, also a bartender. And there's Logan, he's our cook in the kitchen. Look at this place. We have 50s diners tables with Irish bar chairs <laughs> in a beach environment painted white. So there's nobody here, and nobody's coming to take our order. Can we order? Yeah. All right. Hi. Hello. Do you have any specialty cocktails? The caparina, the margaritas, and mojitos. OK, so we'll have each of those. OK. We'll also do your Bloody Mary. OK. You got a pad? No. Why don't you have a pad with you? I mean, we're ordering an awful lot of stuff. You're setting yourself up to be embarrassed 10 minutes from now, right? OK. Go get a pad. OK. It would be helpful if you had it in your pocket when you got here. I'm a bartender. So she says I'm a bartender. So there's no waitress here, then. So they understand that they're not going to have business tonight. They've accepted that. They're not doing anything about it. They've lost all passion. We have pads. John, we need pens. Pads. Pads. Pads? There should be some of that. Brought four out last night. No. Pads. OK, I have Bloody Mary, but then I also have the Caparina, Margarita, and a Mojito. I also want to have a Pina Colada, a strawberry daiquiri, a Tom Collins, a Vodka Collins, a Tequila Sunrise, a Mai Tai, Planter's Punch, and a zombie. What kind of oysters do you have? Blue Point. OK, let's go with a dozen. OK. Thanks. I've never heard of a zombie. Come over here. OK, yeah, I don't know what the f to do. I don't know what to do right now. He wants one of everything on the menu. Sarah, will you make me a Mai Tai and a zombie punch? I don't know what the f that is either. Hi. I'm Jamie. John Taffer, nice to meet you, Jamie. Good Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for coming to Toucan's. You're one of the owners? Yes, sir. You making money? Right now? No. How much is it a month? Mm, seven to 8,000. When do you run out of money? Five months. These things are breaking apart like crap. Cracking it. Okay, this is the pina colada. What's that one? This is tequila sunrise. OK, Kyle, want to give that a taste for me? This is the zombie, but we don't have papaya juice. There's no papaya juice in the zombie, just so you know. These are the Bloody Marys, obviously. How do you like these? I love the barbecue sauce. Barbecued oysters. Not very appetizing. It's a complete opposite of what you would expect at the beach. When I get a good oyster, I definitely want to have all that great juice that's inside the oyster. These are just dried out. Welcome to Two Cans. Come on in. Let's have a good time. Try our zombie drink, Caparisnia. Yeah. I want that zombie drink. Oh. Give me a zombie drink. I love the oysters. Send your glassware before you make these drinks. 30 seconds, let's go. Uh, hustle, hustle, hustle. These tickets are going to just keep firing. I need a runner. Here we go. I got two orders right here. Knock it out. Got Knock em. the oysters. Get the other shucker, and you guys do it together. This is teamwork right now, guys. Make it look perfect if you want people coming back. What the f I got rats running under my feet right now. John, rats. I just had three of them go right under my feet. Three rats. So they're under here now? Yes. Do you understand what corporate yes. responsibility yes. is? Yes. Do you understand yes. what it is to own a freaking business yes. and you're feeding people? Yes. You can't do this. Ugh.
Oh, my God. What do you say, Nick? Yeah. In a tropical location like Florida, rats are a fact. They live in walls. They live in foundations. You have to use a professional exterminating program, or they'll take over your bar. Guys, I can't honestly sell food when you're watching a rat run by, Logan. You're very right. Shut the equipment off. Tonight was not a success. We were almost caught up when the rat went between Chef and Logan and it got shut down. Look at these people. They're in their 40s. Here for the beautiful sunset. Pretty typical customer for here, Dave? Correct. It's too early for the late night kids to come out, the younger audience. But you know, a sunset and a beautiful beach like that doesn't create success. It's only a stage. You have to do something with it. It's terrible out there. Yeah. It needs atmosphere. Bring the people to that patio. It's not beautiful. It could be one of the best happy hours in Warwick. One of the greatest assets of this bar is the patio, the beach, and the fact that it faces west, so you see a sunset every night. They have the stage, but they're not exploiting it. Give me a better shake than that. Hi there, folks. My name's Elise. You guys can't forget about the people in the middle. What's going on? They're not fast at all. Who doesn't have a drink out there? Yeah. Michelle, let's go. And you're getting backed up on your waitress. 18 tickets, and the first one is 25 minutes ago. Listen, I've started setting up these slips, so if you can kill some of them. Problem is, these are the longest ones. You're absolutely right. So she's doing this backwards. We're at the beach, but uh, we could use a fire. Oh, Oh, good for you. You live here 10 minutes after us. We've been waiting 45 minutes. minutes. The greatest part of this bar is the patio. I got four tables sitting out there to enjoy that. They're not getting served. I want to go across the street so I can get a drink. <laughs> Michelle, 12 people came, sat in the patio. They just left. Nobody is minding the store here. It's a disaster. Guys, you got food in the bar. Hey, guys, where are these going? Somebody, please, I'll, I'll drop I, I Guys, are you familiar with the term cluster yes. blank? This is a cluster blank, right? Yes. yes, sir. This is a classic. Now I'll say it. A classic cluster. There it is. The sandbar. That's a beach volleyball court. Volleyball is very popular, and the beach bar can be a strong destination spot in Albuquerque if done right. What's interesting is look at the tall fences. Looks like a prison yard. Look at that cocktail. It's gigantic. <laughs> when a glass is that big, if they're only putting two ounces of tequila, that's like 14 ounces of mix. That's disgusting. The most obvious thing, the freaking lime. Now, how does somebody put that lime on a drink? That is days old. You doing all right, Vic? Yeah. Look at that. Well, dirty fryer oil. Just I've never seen bar. that in my life. Usually tacos like fresh ingredients. I wouldn't want this melted, oily cheese. Hey, watermelon breeze. Yes, I'll do a beach cucumber. All right. Should we get nachos? Yeah. I feel like you judge your place on the nachos. <laughs> oh my god. They're just all sour mix. Thank you. Thank you. How do these nachos look? Well, oh, this cheese is legit cold. And it's like thick. And it's almost grainy. It's so salty. I never thought you could f up nachos, but they have successfully screwed up the nachos. And I reevaluate Sean, and Mike will make the decision that's best for his investment. Sean, hustle, get the orders in, let's move. Has it got to you yet? Uh, not yet. Here, what you got? Uh, I just want to go ahead and get you a bubble and uh, lime. Absolutely. What can we get you guys? I want the shrimp tacos. Okay. Things are crazy right now. Everyone's really backed up on tickets. There's a ton of guests that don't have drinks in their hands. But the thing is, I see Kenny coming behind the bar. He's actually making drinks right now, but I haven't seen Sean Holmes. Everybody in the bar here just about has drinks, right? What about this side? Who doesn't have drinks on this side? OK, you guys got to catch up. Where's Sean? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or all you guys are going to start coming over here. Yeah. 
Guys, we got to get this food out. It's just dying. But you're at 26 minutes on that ticket. Vic, has management stepped in to even check on you? No, sir. Nobody. Uh, not one person back here yet. Is it always this hard to get food out of the kitchen? To get them out? Yeah. You know, I had high hopes for these guys, which is a complete and utter mess right now. We're trying to cook good food back here, and we need to make sure the food gets out. Kenny's obviously back there in the trenches making drinks with them. Sean is taking orders. He went from table to table, right? He should have brought that order in. Then he goes to the bar with a he drinks at once yeah. and slams the work yeah. The problem with Sean is he's now taken orders from four tables in a row. He hasn't brought one of them to the bar. So as he's going to the second table, the third table, the fourth table, the first table is still waiting for their drinks. Now he's going to go to the bar and slam them with 30 drinks at once. There's one more ticket for you. What? He hasn't touched a single ticket yet. Gotta start making more than one drink at a time. Nobody's gonna get a drink if you're just making one at a time. Oh, what the f is Sean? It's not pretty stressful. Sean told me, I got your back, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you. But f***ing disappeared on me. And two shrimp tacos. And two shrimp tacos. He's still taking orders. Has he put any of them in? No. Nobody on that side got their first drinks. And that's been 30 minutes at least. Sean! One second. Yes, sir. How many drink orders did you just take? I took, uh... I've got 10 of them right now. 10 tables worth. Now you're gonna hit the bar with 16 drinks all at once. You're not sequencing this. Now they're screwed, aren't they? So you're all screwed. Good job, Sean. Good job, buddy. Brick. <laughs> asshole. He's putting them all into the POS system now. Yeah. They're all gonna print up at once. And you'll never be able to do this. Absolutely not. So this failure isn't because of the bartenders. Strictly because of? Poor management. There it is. The blue water daiquiri and oyster bar. That's long as Yep. <laughs> look at the front of that place. Does it look like a party bar to you? Nah, it looks kind of old and dated. So look at this place. What is this, SpongeBob or something? <laughs> it almost looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah, man, nobody want to party under the sea. It's not a kid's birthday party. Ask them about the daiquiris. What did you want to drink? The only daiquiris we have is blue raspberry, orange or fruit punch. Cherry is melted too much, and the uh, apple and strawberry are out. But I thought this was supposed to be a daiquiri bar. I know. Our daiquiri machines are not very good. <laughs> wow. My favorite daiquiri is the orange and the green mixed together. I could possibly get some green out for you if you want to. Let's try it. Okay. Oh my god, are you kidding me? So if it's not coming out, is that spout dirty? Oh, that, I don't even want to see that. I'm glad that's your department. <laughs> There we go. There you go. go. See how the green is melted, though? That looks terrible. I would I would have left by now. I want to hear what they really think of this. I'm going to go in and talk to them. Which daiquiris are they selling tonight, Charlie? I have uh, blue raspberry, uh, sour apples. No, you don't. I'm going to ask you again. Not what's up on the bar, Charlie. What drinks are available tonight? I, I don't know. How many of the six can you sell tonight? Three. Three. Yeah, I so knew, I knew the featured, cherry was down. You didn't know it, though, did you? No, sir. Daiquiri is on your sign. That's why people come here. You have six daiquiri machines. Three of them are available. Next, I send two guys in here. They order two cocktails. They couldn't drink them, for Christ's sakes. Please, can we get the top, please? Did you know that? No, I, I did not. You sir. didn't notice that. Charlie, what the hell do you notice? You know, this is a seasonal place, right? The summertime is not exactly packed here. If we don't get the locals to come off season and the tourists to come in season, he won't succeed. Classic drink, what are you famous for here? We can make anything you want. I mean, I think I'm just going to go typical and get a pina colada. OK, that's fine. Is there anything else I can get you? What food would you recommend? We have a mahi-mahi appetizer. Um, you like fish? Fish sounds kind of good. Do you like the black and the fried? Fried will be good. First of all, they're using some mix to make the pina coladas. I've never seen a mix look like that for a pina colada. 
look, that pina colada mix sits on the speed well with no top on it. See that? There's got to be fruit flies all over the place. In the hot Florida heat, of course. Some of you get sick just from that pina colada mix. Take a gift free. Thank you. You're welcome. I took one sip, and I got a headache. It was like all over the place, a sugary disaster. That's the epitome of why they're failing right there, I bet. Yeah. And I bet the food's no better. So one thing he definitely did, he just pulls them out of the fryer. Yep. No paper towel, no nothing to absorb that extra grease. Things come out of the fryer, you season them immediately, and you get them on a drain pan. They weren't being drained, they weren't being seasoned. The runners were not there to run the food. The product should be at the customer a long time ago. Yeah, baby. I think that's because the runner just got here. Mia, you showed up. Mia? Yes, Daddy. What is your problem? I have so much stuff to do. It's all good. Clock in, you go to work. There's lost revenue right there. Of course. Look at her. She's just standing there playing with her hair. The food just sits there. do look rubbery. Look at this, Josh. Ah! After picking through it, I find a long blonde hair just sitting in my food, and that's the absolute worst. This is not my hair. At that point, you're done. It's over. You lost your appetite. You don't want to eat it anymore. What do we got? Obviously, everything should be dated. We also should make sure, like, even everything's saran wrap. When you don't wrap things up, they actually take on the taste of a refrigerator. Sometimes when we're busy, it's in and out, so you know how it is. What is this? You see this. You know what it is. I don't have that in my fryer. Yeah, so maybe you're not running a busy restaurant. No disrespect to the bamboo tiki bar. I'm running a busy restaurant. This right here is French fries. That's ass. That's ass. Yeah, that's, that's ass. That's ass. Okay. That's garbage. Yeah. Yeah. That's ass. There's grease dripping out of the hood. This thing's not wrapped up. Things aren't dated. There's garbage everywhere. And Barry just keeps telling me how often he cleans the kitchen. But I'm looking at him like, who are you trying to kid here, guy? That sludge from the gas. This will catch on fire, guys. This. This clean, big man. This this is something what over you know over the That's days. It's not clean. But what I'm saying Stop is that. Stop saying it's clean. No, Stop what, saying it's we, clean. We, we Barry, clean. listen to me. Stop saying it's clean. I don't want to hear excuses. It's not clean. But this is man. not clean. But I'm telling you, this clean. You're telling me that's clean? I'm telling you that clean. I'm telling you you're blind. You have grease. Look. Okay, but I'm telling you. Into we, your saute pan. But I'm telling it's you, big man. Not clean. Tonight it's clean when we finish work up in here. Frank's excuses and lack of caring have rubbed off on his staff. Since he doesn't care if the place is clean, why should they clean it? Clean it now! OK, it's going to clean, clean it now! Okay. OK, it's good. It's going to clean. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.